the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a PS4 game controller on PPSSPP on your Android device. So with that being said, let's turn on our Bluetooth. Once you turn on your Bluetooth, then you press the PS, PS button. It's going to blink and then connect to your Android phone. If you want to learn how to pair your Android phone, your, your Android phone with your PS4 game, game controller, the link will be in the description box for you have to, for you to know how to do that. And so guys, you have to go to control mapping and go to controls, control mapping, and then I'm going to clear all for tutorial sake. So D-pad up. Press it and deeper down. You press the left, basically the same way, right, circle, cross, square, triangle, then start. I'm going to be using options for start and select. We use share for select. Then L. Press that. R do that unlock up do that unlock down unlock left unlock right and I like putting the speed toggle I used to make I'm, I'm making it L2 for speed toggle so you go back and now so yeah this is it guys so there's an advantage and disadvantage of using this guys this advantage is that is what I like to call input lag so input lag like the lag the speed for the Android phone to receive commands from the PS4 game controller is kind of slow so I'll show you guys the best way to do that but it's going to be have it it's going to get have its advantage too so I'm going to unplug my mouse, you plug it, and I'm going to plug in, I'm going to put in my USB cord. If you can see my USB cord, I'll plug it here with the help of my USB OTG. So then I'll plug this. So let's off the USB off the Bluetooth first. And then you have to um you have to plug it here. Let's plug it in the charging port of the PS4 game controller. So you plug it it's going to start charging you can see the light shows you that it is charging so guys you can see it works 100% this is the best method but guys the disadvantage is that the ps4 game controller will be drawing power from your android phone since it has a built-in battery this usb cord will be charging the ps4 game controller so which means your your gaming length will be reduced because you have to be charging your phone you have to charge your phone because it's going to draw power a lot of power from your android phone so it will be charging this ps4 this little thing here so it's going to charge it and you use it at the same time so yeah that is its advantage but the advantage which is which outweighs this advantage is that zero input lag it has zero input lag you can use it to play all your favorite games with zero input lag but the, the wireless method has input lag so it's kind of slow sometimes maybe when you press x it will not respond immediately stuff like that so yeah thank you guys for watching this video did you enjoy it give it a very big thumbs up did you not enjoy it please comment down below so i can attend to you and share this to your friends also subscribe see you guys in the next video Metro out